All right, a new week of Pokemon. Sorry if my voice is a little burnt out today. We had Dave in town from the podcast over the weekend, and we did a lot of recording. Some videos that'll be up soon, some videos that'll be up in a while. Got a lot of work done. It also meant talking for, I don't know, 14 or 15 hours this weekend, and uh, even if you have an idea how to train your voice and whatnot, that's just tiring. It burns you out. Luckily, we don't have to remember the passwords, even though we know what they were. The game tells it for us. Muhahaha. Doo doo doo. It's me, Giovanni, the majestic Giovanni himself. Wahahaha. I don't sound anything like Giovanni. Yeah, he didn't really have a sick hat either. He was kind of bald and. Oh. I guess spinning around, like, flung off his costume and his hair dye. But I probably have, like, black just smothered over my face and my clothes. The password's Hail Giovanni. Wait, what? Oh, it's voice recognition. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Hell, in some senses, that's tougher than, like fingerprint or eye recognition because, you know, you could cut out the guy's eye or chop off his hand and then use that. It's tough to kill somebody and then take their voice. Also, we ran into a, uh, a buzzsaw here, but luckily our Venusaur has flash cannon. So this ice thing shouldn't be a problem. Delibird. I think we mistakenly thought this was ice back in that last gym, and then it wasn't, and we were sad. It's just normal. Bird. Can I have my bird? This is normally where I'd like to give Giovanni crap for, you know, well, where's your stuff that you're supposed to have? A Nido King and a Nido Queen and a Rhydon and whatever. But of course, even if it was Giovanni's Pokemon, it would be randomized anyways. Not really a good look for Petrol. He's supposedly been working on this impression for, I don't know, a while, he says. And a 10-year-old kid who doesn't even really know what Giovanni looked like because he was seven when Giovanni was still around and hadn't gone into hiding, picks out his disguise that quickly. I hope he hasn't spent months on this. Or years. Didn't even really have that much money. Yeah, Giovanni's been gone. After the last 10-year-old came in and kicked his ass, twice, he was like, nah. <laughs> Need my voice to unlock it. And he runs into a wall, and we can't possibly catch him, even though he's... Like, we, we, we aren't even moving. And then this Murkrow comes over and he says, Hail Giovanni, and you go, what? <laughs> so, um... Just to review, that uh, that Murkrow sat in the corner this whole time. Petrol, perfecting his Giovanni impression for ages. And by perfecting, I mean not doing anything. Apparently doesn't notice, and as soon as he leaves, this Murkrow's like, Hey, let me help you out here, bro. <laughs> okay. I was going to see if he was going to talk about this scene that just unfolded in front of him, but no, he's still really obsessed with that kid. Do do do. Do, do, do. Oh, gotta go the long way around. There's no shortcut. Hey. <laughs> we just have to keep hailing Giovanni. We have no choice but to hail Giovanni. Yeah, no, I... Yep. You know, since he's gonna help us out, I can't really be too mad at him. 
Ba 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 And now he's running for the exit. Oh. Do, 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 do. So, Ariana's back. Time to finish you. Two of us fight at the same time. You'll have no chance of winning. Well, that doesn't seem fair. But you know what? Good on you. You're an evil organization. You shouldn't fight fair. Unfortunately for them, <laughs> we did have a Lance wandering through here. Typical Team Rocket being so sneaky. You had an accomplice. Where's your sense of dignity? Says the woman who was about to challenge us two on one four seconds ago. I actually kind of like Ariana. She seems pretty cool. The problem with this is they're still trying to fill in for Giovanni. And as we're going to find out pretty soon here, they actually have no idea what Giovanni wants. They're just assuming that he would like this and trying their best to impress him. Um, this is interesting. This is supposed to be Dragonite, which we've seen him following around Lance, but of course, Randomize doesn't care, so he has a level 40 Ninjask. Also, remember when I talked about how this place was somewhat inconsequential? Well, that's actually going to create a problem because we used a poison attack on it, and that's not going to do anything to Magnemite. But yeah, this is what we were referring to. Everybody in the place is pretty much underleveled. You get the one fight against Petrol, where he's got a bit of a competitive team, but we still wipe the floor with him. And now, the one spot where you might have had trouble, it's the Team Rocket Grunt. His Pokemon are all below level 20. It's an executive, Ariana, but only 25, and we're partnering with somebody who has a level 40 Pokemon. And again, it's supposed to be a, uh, a Dragonite. Now you can make a case for this from a story perspective. Oh jeez. The 10% all stats up thing proc. Uh, you can make a case and be like, well, you know, Team Rocket's disorganized. They have a lot, a lot of problems that they haven't been able to fix from three years ago. Maybe recruitment's been bad, so they can't muster up the best to offer. And again, from a story perspective, that makes sense. From a gameplay perspective, we just whooped ass in this entire building. Hell, the floor trap in the first room was more dangerous than anybody we encountered in here. What's even more sad is that randomly it's set up so that we have a bug type against three grass types from Ariana. <laughs> Alright. Still pedal dancing. Dragon Breath. There's the Dragon move we wanted this whole time. Dragon Breath is, what, 60 power? Well, we talked about possibly getting rid of Flash Cannon because we have Dialga for Steel-type moves, and you don't need Steel for much. Rock and Ice, which have other weaknesses. So, it's happening. Dragon Breath's not the best, but we've had a bit of a hole in our game plan with no Dragon and no Ice that we've sort of patched. And just a daily reminder that Petal Dance is strong. Titch. If you Team Rocket, you could become an executive. Yeah, it seems that way. Doesn't seem like the uh, difficulty spike is super high. You just you just join, you're there for four or five days, you're like, yeah, you're good enough to be an executive. Now, I will say, despite all the crap I'm giving Team Rocket, they did seem to be causing some havoc at the Lake of Rage. The aptly named Lake of Rage. Unfortunately for them, their plan to make Magikarps evolve into Gyaradoses by pissing them off doesn't work very well when the place is full of Primplops. <laughs> he was just watching us. We were kicking ass. He's like, cool. Rocket, kid. <laughs> and the not dragon eye goes wandering around. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Had to make all the Electrode faint. It's no fault of the Electrode, they just got used for a bad thing. Alright, splitting up the job. Let's see what these Electrodes are that are providing power. Is it anything with electricity at all? Even if it's just a move they can learn? Deli birds. 
that dastardly Team Rocket. They hooked up six deli birds and they somehow took electricity out of them. Oh my god. Well, we did bring that on ourselves, didn't we? Ow. We need to switch Venus around in the first spot anyways. He's level 31. We got stragglers who are not. That's a good experience for a wild encounter, though. Let's see. Who would like to fight deli birds? I mean... Ultimately, Electabuzz would, but... He's 31, too. <laughs> Looks over at us. Oh, they're not even all the same. <laughs> These electrodes changing forms on us. But we walked into a favorable matchup, as it turns out, so that's fine. And the third electrode. Yeah, we're just all over the place here, aren't we? A Tangrowth, and we also have a good answer for Tangrowth. Two of them on Umbreon, actually. Um... While fly is funnier, I'd rather make sure we don't miss. Grass types love setting up a bunch of nonsense, although unrandomized, who knows what moves they've got. That's going to be a poor choice because we're not going to have time to fall asleep. But you know, a Tangrowth might want to do stuff like, oh, <laughs> well, you showed me Tangrowth. Here comes the sleepy time. Oh no, he, that's right, that has recoil. Ha! <laughs> Never mind. Grass types love to set up with like ingrain and leech seed and all, you know, a bunch of nonsense. Here is not a big deal. Technically, that also means that we did this faster than Lance because we walked over first. Although, for all we know, Lance could have been over there doing cartwheels and checking his phone, and he did it 15 minutes ago. Well, good thing we ran into Lance. He has Whirlpool. Keep this in mind. You have to have the badge from Mahogany. Luckily, we're near Mahogany. Yeah, we're on that journey, you know? And it is long. We got five badges already, though. We're all right. We can finally use this portal. We accidentally did before, not remembering where it went, and didn't work out. Arnie? What you got, Arnie? As soon as we get out of the basement, where presumably our phone signal was blocked. You have a slacking? What is its weakness, I wonder? It only has one, Arnie. It's fighting. Have a good day. Hey, the music's nicer in this place now that there's not a Team Rocket nonsense going on here. Well, the gym is no longer being blocked by suspicious individuals. But we want to heal up first. Uh, I think this was originally the ice gym. I think this is Price, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and while the gym is going to be ice-themed, obviously, Price, like everything else in this game, probably not. But let's go see what it's up to. Yeah. Alright, so... Almost every Pokemon game has one of these somewhere. Sliding block type puzzle. Here we kind of careen into these ice blocks. And then once you do, they can lock in place. And they can let us get places. Okay. This one you can kind of see where it's headed. If you want to go up to the middle. And to do so, you have to get these blocks to go somewhere. If we push the right block to the left... It won't work. We gotta push the left block first. Well, it's the only one we're gonna push. Gotta think before you skate. This means that we don't technically need to go over to the right guy and fight him, but we're going to for the sake of experience. And this is interesting. This gives us essentially a 50 50 shot. Oh, I should use revenge. It shouldn't matter. We've always defenses suck. Uh, a 50-50 shot, this is actually being still ice. We've always dark ice. So if 
this is a Pokemon of the type of this gym. It could actually be ice. Could also be dark. Four time weeks to fighting, so if we had done that first, we would have been a one shot, but oh well. I got excited for Fire Punch. Fire Punch is a cool move. I like it. I would lose you in ski. Well, if you want to go open a skiing gym, you can invite me and we'll see how it goes. We're not playing games here. Yeah, the slippery floor is kind of fun, though. I always like these ice puzzles. Now, if you ever got in a situation where the ice things, while you slid around, also proc random encounters, I don't know if it'd be so fun, but... Uh, water ice means about the best I have is revenge. And Cloyster outspeeds us. Hmm. Cloyster is one of my favorite, like, decent Pokemon. He has great defense, his special defense sucks, and it takes some specific planning to make him, well, probably dead, uh, to make him decent, but he has an ability that lets him guarantee that all of his two to five hit moves hit five times, and he gets two good ones, Icicle Spear and Rock Blast. Rock Blast? Ro <laughs> I think it's Rock Blast. Whatever rock move hits five times, essentially. And by doing so, that makes Icicle Spear essentially 125 power, and Rock Blast essentially 125 power. And Icicle Spear has 100 accuracy, and Stab, so it's super strong. And both Ice and Rock are good attack types. Not good defensively, but that's okay. The only problem is that Cloyster's special defense sucks, speed is mediocre, and HP is eh. So it can never be like super competitive, but it's one that I love carrying around on my team. And he by all means, can carry his weight. I love snowboarding. Yeah, well, I love gold. Just bop this one, head straight up. Now, this whole gym isn't this easy. Um, This is the one I do not remember. So let's get these fights out of the way so we're not going to be distracted in the middle when we're trying to figure out this puzzle. I also just want to point out that I think we actually stumbled into an ice gym in the ice gym. Because everything appears to be pointing in that direction. I mean, it was not impossible for this to happen. I suppose each gym had a 1 in 17 chance of auto-correcting into its own type. And there's eight gyms huh, in this game. So in theory, it was actually going to happen once. Because there's technically 16 gyms. Spoiler alert. It was almost 100%. We had 16 chances for a 1 in 17 shot. But still, it's kind of funny. Dugong, Dugong, Dugong. Uh, this is risky, but I feel like this will still one-shot. And if not, we're probably going to eat some damage. And then Giga drain some of it back. Oh no, withdraw. I suppose maybe Dugong thought, oh, it's a fire type against me. I got time to set up on him. But, uh, no. With Dugong being water ice, it was also questionable whether uh, Giga Drain or Flamethrower was the best choice there. Giga Drain is super effective, but Flamethrower is stronger with Stab. Uh, let's see. Let's get all the fights out of the way first. Check out my parallel turn. There's an old man in the back, by the way. All these deli birds around lately. Must just be a thing around Mahogany Town.
All the trainers in this gym, by the way, sport stuff in the upper 20s. Remember, Team Rocket folks, upper teens. You made me wipe out. Did I? You're still standing there. Or are you speaking, like, colloquially? All right, I'm just having a look at the puzzle. That's all I have to do. In fact, I'm going to look at the puzzle between episodes so I don't waste your time. 